All right, guys. I got a 1993 Frozen Head Ted Williams Card Company Premier Edition baseball card box. Uh, I don't know too much about these cards. I know they were up for, I think, two or three years. And they had uh, uh, half, I think it was half Hall of Fame uh, Negro League players um, and current players back in 1993. Uh, just picked this box up on eBay for like 12 bucks plus shipping. Uh, I already opened up the seal and opened up one of the packs just to take a look at it. Um, I got one Juan Gonzalez card. I'll show you it there. I got a Willie Mays. I think that's just like a subset card there, but the base cards are really nice. It's got kind of a shadow picture with a, a, a black and white closer shot or in color shot with some of them. There's LeVon Gonzalez, Cecil Cooper there, uh, Joe Morgan of the Big Red Machine Hall of Famer, Jim Lonborg, haven't heard of him, but uh, one thing I was looking at the back of the cards, they do not have the career statistics, which I'm not a big fan of, especially with some of the older retired players. It's fun to look at the back of the cards and uh, see their career statistics. I know it jumps around here. We go 67 to 72, 74, 76, and 77. So I'm wondering if they just highlight some of their better years. Um, got a Rogers Hornsby there. And a Negro League Smokey Williams. And uh, even uh, the Girls Professional Baseball League with... Uh, that the movie A League of Their Own was based on. That's kind of a kind of a cool addition there to the set. Don Baylor, he just recently passed away, I believe. Rest in peace. John Henry Lloyd, Negro Leagues, and then some kind of weird pop-up button things. But uh, anyway, the overall look of the cards is really nice. They got an embossed logo there, um, but the the card stock feels really nice, and the cards look really nice. So. Let's go ahead and open up a few more of these packs. I'm not going to do the whole box. This video would be too long, but I give them a little bit of a bend because the UV coating from being stuck together for 25 years, the cards tend to stick a little bit. But anyway, I was researching uh, the Ted Williams Card Company and found uh, a lot of information about Ted Williams' son. I know he passed away just a few years after his dad did, but he was legitimately a piece of garbage. He would... Uh, just basically line up a smorgasbord or a conveyor belt of pictures, 8x10s, uh, baseballs for his dad to sign while his dad was uh, basically losing his mind as he was at an advanced age uh, and his mental state wasn't there and his son would just give him nonstop items to sign. Uh, even f having him sign a, a napkin with Ted when he signed it Ted Williams and then he wrote that his father didn't want to be cremated in anymore, that he wanted to be frozen in a cryogenic freeze so science could eventually reunite the family when his original wishes were to be cremated and his ashes spread where he did all his fly fishing, where Ted Williams is also in the Hall of Fame of fly fishing. I didn't know they had such a thing, but I found that in the research that I was doing. But uh, anyway, it's a sad story. But Ted Williams was a great ball player and a great man. So, anyway, enough of my rant here. Let's go into my second pack, which looks eerily similar to the first pack. And it's almost card for card so far, except for that one. That's uh, Jimmy Fox, double X. And Matty Alou, that's different from the last pack. Raja, I don't know who that is. It's a thick card. Oh, it's because it was stuck together. Rogers Hornsby. Jim Purcell, never heard of him. There's a Roger Hornsby again, too. Smokey Williams, the same as those last pack. And then uh, whatever these are, I guess little buttons. Whatever they pop out of there. I don't know what you do with them after that. Are they stickers? Nope. Just weird little cardboard pieces. Pogs, maybe. Those were popular back in 1993. I'm thinking that's what they are. 
interesting. Anyway, I'll do a few more packs here. Actually, if you think about it, the Ted Williams card set was kind of uh, ahead of its time. It was very innovative with uh, having the retired players mixed in with some of the current stars, although I don't see too many current stars. The only one I've got so far is Juan Gonzalez. Bobby Gritch, great defensive player. Good career, too. I think he had over 2,000 hits. Lou Bordet, never heard of him. Rocky Calavito. Interesting side note on Calavito. The only reason why I knew who we, or know, know of him uh, is because uh, ESPN used to run reruns of the old TV show uh, Home Run Derby that was taped, I think, back in the late 50s or early 60s, and he was a contestant on that show, along with Mickey Mantle, Willie Mays, Duke Snyder. Uh, those are the guy. I think Hank Aaron was on there too, but interesting. Interesting to watch those old reruns when I was a kid. Roy Campanella going north, subset. Dave Kingman, he of the home run or nothing. 236 career hitter. If he could actually do anything besides hit home runs, he'd probably be in the Hall of Fame because he was a very feared slugger with 442 career home runs. Jeff Bagwell, donning of a legacy. Roberto Clemente. That's one of the inserts there. Memories of 71. Lou Boudreaux. The Babe with Ted Williams. That's a cool looking card. Good shot. Bud Harrelson. I haven't heard of him. I'll enjoy looking at all these cards a little more closely and going over the stats and everything because I'm kind of a baseball dork like that. That's what I do. Early Willie Mays there with the New York Unis. It's a cool looking card too. And Ron Santo. I think he recently had his jersey retired or a statue uh, put up at Wrigley or something. Something like that. And Braves and Mets Pogs. We're at the seven minute mark. I'll do a couple more packs here. But the quality of these cards is really nice. It's a shame uh, the, the company couldn't uh, stay around a little bit longer. Back in 1993, there was uh, a lot of mass production with cards. I don't remember seeing these cards around too much. I don't remember my hobby shops that were near me having these. Bob Gritch again. The collation doesn't seem to be too good with these cards because I've had a couple packs that have almost been exactly the same. And I'm only a few packs into this big old box. Yeah, it's almost that whole half is identical to the last half. There's a Willie Stargell. Not a very good shot on the front of that, but there's the same Willie Mays from the last pack. Ron Santo again. Joe Torrey. Back in his playing days before he managed, rocking the cool sideburns. Satchel Page, Negro Leagues, that's a cool card right there. Like I said, I, I really like the fronts. Good, uh, good layout for the front of the cards. Gaylord Perry. And we got Lou Gehrig and Ted Williams Pogs. Alright, I think I'll do one more. Pogs in every pack. Willie Stargell, that's a good looking card right there. Nice pirate yellow. The pops there. Monty Irvin. Jim Gilliam, I haven't heard of him, but he's going north. Mini Min Min Miniso, I haven't heard of him, Mini Miniso. Going north, checklist, got to get a checklist. Don Newcomb, Barrier Breakers, uh, just a subset card. Billy Herman, it's <laughs> a great shot. <laughs> Uh, see the expression on his face? That's funny. Warren Svahn, one of the best left-handed pitchers in the history of baseball. Steve Carlton would probably get my vote. but 
Armando Vasquez of the Negro Leagues. Alice Holmeyer of the Girls Professional Baseball League. That's cool. Craig Nettles. And Lester Lockett in my Braves and Mets pogs. Oh, what the heck? Let's go one more. Frozen Head, Ted Williams, Card Company. I think he's still frozen. Billy Williams, Roy Campanella. Look at the size of that jock guard. Ray Dandridge of the Negro Leagues. Earl Weaver, all-time leader in ejections. And, of course, they got him arguing in the background. That's a good card. I don't know how big this set is. I'll probably have close to the whole set. I only think it's like 200 cards. Bill Mazeroski. Donning of a legacy checklist. Bobby Brown. Back when he was white and before he beat Whitney Houston. Jim Grant. I haven't heard of him. I'll enjoy looking at some of these players that I haven't heard of and seeing some of their career statistics on the back. Larry Boa. Light hitting uh, utility infielder back in the day. Of course, the utility infielders always become head coaches or managers, excuse me. Burt Campanaris. The Gray Eagle. I don't know who that is. That is Tris Speaker. Murray Wills stealing base. And we got my World Series Pog and the Orioles All Star Game Pog. All right. I'm going to end this video here, but. Uh, Overall, these are very nice cards. The, 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 the stock feels really good. I'm enjoying the pictures. Uh, and I'll enjoy looking at uh, a lot of these cards uh, a little more in depth. But uh, anyway, for 12 bucks, uh, I'm already liking this purchase. So maybe I'll get uh, the, the 1994 edition next time. So anyway, thanks for watching this uh, Frozen Head Ted Williams card company. Uh, partial box break and uh, I'll have some more videos uh, soon. Thanks for watching.